It was huge to have community support because we were going into it kind of blindly, you know, getting new policies every day and just kind of taking it one day at a time. And I know the community relied heavily on us to take care of the COVID patients, uh, but we relied heavily on them for their support to keep doing what we were doing and show up every day. So I uh, was contacted by, uh, by Vern uh, to see if we wanted to help out with uh, uh, providing meals to hospital workers and healthcare workers. Uh, we've long uh, participated in various different uh, ways with Forward Madison and the community, and they've always been a really strong community partner. At that time, no one was allowed in the hospital except for us, you know, frontline workers and staff and obviously the patients. But just feeling the support that people were giving to us uh, really meant a lot. Even if it was just meals, uh, that was immensely helpful just because you take a break and then you got a really awesome meal from a really great restaurant here in Madison. I think it's really cool to see the names of everyone who donated and like it can show like their support and the people who supported and it was really nice to have. I think it looks really good um, and it's really cool to see all the people's names and uh, groups and supporters that did donate and, and it's awesome that you guys have spotlighted them to show your support of their support for us. You know we're a growing city but we're still very much a, a close-knit small town when it comes to uh, stepping up and making a difference. And we have a lot of community-minded people in Madison. It's one of the reasons that I'm, I'm proud to call it home.